Absolutely perfect day to be in the apiary. I'm going to be performing a first full inspection on the two hives that we made from swarms. That would be numbers 25 and numbers 30. Let's, uh, let's go light a smoker and take a closer look at these hives. This is hive number 30, and it will be its first full inspection after having been placed in this box at the first of the month from a swarm. We did uh, take a quick peek up maybe three days, four days after we had hived it to make sure that there was uh, there were eggs being laid by the queen. We, we spotted the queen while we were in here, so we marked her as well. That was back in the first part of the month. So now we're gonna crack this open and, uh, and give it its first full inspection, see what the brood chamber looks like. All right, let's, uh, let's take off this telescope and cover and let's get inside this hive. If I remember correctly, these are brand new covers, so this might be just a little tight. First thing I noticed here is some uh, some burr comb there. Looks like it's been filled with nectar along the way. Uh, let's go ahead and take out a frame. Take a look. See what we have here. Okay. Well, that's a heavy frame. Uh, here we see what is clearly the first frame of brood. Let's take a closer look at that. I do not like that brood pattern. And I do not like the darkening of those cells. And it looks like those larvae are less than the kind of creamy, pearly white we should expect at this point. Hmm, let's take a look at the other side. Better looking brood pattern on this end. Next frame, this one may be a little messy. As you can see, we've got some uh, nectar stores here on the top. I think that's my fault for not putting the frames in tightly enough. Well, that looks more like a brood pattern, doesn't it? Honey across the top, pollen and nectar across the bottom. some of the latest layings not yet capped over yeah nice brood nest pattern there We are now at the middle of the hive.
taking special care at this point to spot the queen. She has been marked. Oh, we'll see. There's the queen right there. Isn't she gorgeous? Queen bee, I know we say that. I'm more of a fan of saying mother bee myself. It seems to have less baggage for me than queen. But that's a gorgeous looking frame of brood right there. Lovely. Absolutely the kind of thing you want to see. Maybe a bit, um, maybe a bit shoddy there. I'll take a closer look. yet see any new eggs but obviously we have a laying queen made this incredible incredible nest of brood in just about 20 21 days now i would argue i've made a mistake here having spotted the queen i should have been extra careful to make sure that she gets back in the hive without getting rolled. Okay, so there she is. She's on this frame. Plenty of space as I put her down in here. I'm going to continue through the rest of the frames. Uh, again, looking to see if I can see some eggs. Obviously the brood patterns a little questionable in some places, otherwise very strong in other places. So that's got a question mark in my head. That's what I want to see when it comes to a nice uh, assortment of different aged larvae. And when we go back and look at this a little more carefully, I think we'll probably also see some eggs in there. Uh, I just have such old man eyes that sometimes it's a little difficult for me to spot eggs. So we will take a closer look at that video. Obviously a lot of nectar resources here bordering the brood nest. When I put the frames back in this box, I'm going to make sure to clean up this area of burr comb, and I'm going to reinsert this foundation into a spot deeper into the brood nest to uh, encourage the bees to draw that comb out. Two more frames to take a look at here. Lots of nectar store. Last frame in the box. Also, it looks like it's been cleaned up by the bees, but uh, but not drawn out. So what I'm gonna do in the case of both of these pieces of plastic foundation, I'm gonna spread those outer. All right, so I have two frames that the bees have not drawn out wax on. So I am going to move those in. Those were both on the outside edges. So I'm gonna move those in one on each side give them a little bit of encouragement for drawing that comb out. So we found cap brood, young brood, uh, pre-pupa larva, eggs. We've spotted the queen. This colony looks great. I would even argue it might, uh, it might be 
ready for a box here in the next week or so as some of this brood starts hatching out. I'm just gonna take a closer look at that first frame of brood just to see if there's anything there to be concerned about. All right, moving the undrawn outer frame in just a little bit closer to the center of the brood nest. This was the first frame of the brood nest and I wanted to take that back out again and take another look at the pattern and discoloration of these calves. The uncapped brood looks good. It doesn't look, um, doesn't look diseased to me or yellow. Okay, I'm going to try the ropiness test on this just to see uh, for myself whether or not things are okay. And the pattern on that side looks, looks great, right? Okay, I expressed some concern here about Hive 30, whether or not there was some unusual brood pattern or some darkening or sunken caps on some of that brood. So I am going to take a moment and perform the classic matchstick test to see if, uh, to see if there's a ropiness on some of that brood. All right, classic matchstick test. None of those None of these frames that are darkened here seem to have, they do not seem to have punctured cappings. They do not seem to be terribly sunken. So let's see what happens here. Now that seems like a normal cell to me. That might be Baroque. That is definitely not uh, what I would expect to see if it was the ropiness of American fowl brood, so that's great. Well, let's take that as great news then. Okay, all in all, Hive 30 is looking good. We, uh, we found eggs, we found the queen, we found larva, we found cap brood. I think we found brood that's been uh, been opening up here maybe in just the last few hours. I'm going to move these two plastic foundation frames that they've not worked on, move them in a little closer. I think before I... All right, well, that was a great inspection. I think this this hive is doing fantastic. Let's, uh, let's button it up and move on to hive number 25. Take a look at that. All right, hive 30, off to a great start. 